Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ogre Battle. All right, we are in uh, the final map of the game, Temple Shalina. Trying to take care of all of uh, um, Rashidi's and Garrus's units uh, before we go on and, and take them on them uh, directly. All right, let's go. Oh, hey, that uh, guy decided to come back and uh, attack us. Nice. All right, Ellie, go ahead and crush this guy, get a little bit more... Uh, Get another level or so. All right, we'll go ahead and take them out. Ah, uh, princess. Thank you, princess. That is much appreciated. And last one. Oh. That doesn't matter. We took them out. Very nice. And we got some more levels. Uh, before I do that, let's go ahead and have Ellie start to liberate some of these remaining places. I don't think that we really need to worry about enemies behind our lines now. I think we've taken out most of them. I think there is something down there, but uh, let's go over here. And up here. And where exactly are you going? You're going up that way. That's probably not the best route. Let's go see if... We'll head up towards where Lands is. There we go. Let's see if there's anyone along that route. Uh, I need to figure out who I'm going to send back to the, uh, um, back to the base to sit on it. And then, uh, probably Seven League boots the rest of the people down to the, uh, continue surrounding the enemy fortress. Or sit right behind it so that I can decide who, uh, who will, uh, um, swap out with, uh, um, Aisha's unit, so that I get the right people to, to talk to the enemies. <laughs> Rose's unit has encountered the enemy. Yay. I might actually just go through with Aisha's unit, whoever, uh, and, and see whoever talk, you know, let whoever talks talk, and then um, go through the final the ending of the game, and then come back and see what other conversation bits we get. Um, that might be the better thing, because I'm, I'm thinking that some of it might happen depending on... I mean, you get, you'll get you probably get some before and after combats, which means that I'd have to go through multiple combats anyway. And... So I think that might be the better idea. Hi guys, you uh, you really want to fight me down, fight me here, don't you? Well, that's that's fine by me. I I don't mind. I'll kill you. That's ah, these guys. Oh, good, got some more healing for our paladin. It's very helpful. Supernova. Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, shoot. I need to remember that next time, um, I need to... turn animations on so that we can see what Supernova looks like. Since I do not think that we've seen that. You might have seen it from another enemy. It might be the same animation as, uh, like a boss is used, but, uh... Yeah, we don't care about these guys. Keep hitting that button. Oh man, that really blows for an enemy when uh, he casts a hit all uh, spell and it only hits one person. <laughs> Sucks to be you. 
Right, Emerson is encountering the enemy now. All right, it is getting uh, the sun is coming up, so uh, we'll need to use a moonbeam shortly. Ah, Emerson is the perfect unit to fight these guys. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is one of the uh um Fire breath units. No, it isn't, but let's turn on animation anyway, since we haven't seen the animation for uh, uh, a platinum dragon yet. Oh, yeah, I think the uh, documentation or something that I've seen calls him a flare brass which yeah mistranslation of fire breath or maybe fire breath is a mistranslation of flare brass I don't know bam club to the forehead it's probably going to get a second attack though well no now that we've got a fireball. Fire. Oh, just really sending out a lot of enemies against us now. That's good. Good. Let them blow their, uh... Their stock of foes. Stock of units or whatever. Oh yeah, that's right. That is such a silly attack. Let's turn animation off. Make this go a little bit faster. And they're all dead. Whee! I was really not expecting Emerson to, mi to displace Kingston as my uh, go-to undead unit. Especially considering the fact that it's less than half undead. <laughs> Hi! You're all gonna die! So much damage. So much fun. Oh, one hit point. Oh, oh, oh. oh well. Well, roses will take care of them all. Liberated the Roshian Temple. I will not draw a card. We're close to victory. The people in the entire continent is supporting you rebels. Yep, yeah, there are two units up there. I gotta redirect short quickly. There are some units that I have not that I that I have let slip through my grasp. They need to be taken out. It actually might be better if I uh, send Ellie over there, maybe. Get her a couple more levels, make her a little bit more powerful against the uh, our foes. I should check her level first. I need to check the time in the game. Oh, good. Levels for uh, Kingston. Not bad. Oh, yay. An Egg of Wonder. Um, Alright, so what do we have? We've got... Dragon Master and Fire Breath. And Seraphim and Ninjas. Eh, uh, you know what? Whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll let... I'll let Canopus get them. Let's see, Canopus, he is taking a little bit of uh, a loss to his uh, alignment, but that's okay. There we go. That's not quite uh, just before noon, so uh, we're okay on time. Hello! 
guess what? Have a thunder arrow. Now this enemy could hurt. Oh, oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, take out this unit. I don't think the damage they take in, in response to that attack is based on the damage they deal. I think it's fixed for their level. Or their, you know, or one of their stats. Roses has encountered the enemy. Still not quite noon. Gotta keep an eye on that. I can't believe how little damage our, uh, that uh, Dadid is taking from some of those spells. It's pretty nice. That is the advantage of a high-level wizard. Oh, almost. There we go. Well, high-level anything, really. Actually, no, wait. Uh, I was going to check Dadid. Holy crap, look at all those enemies. <laughs> uh, 65, 67. Nope, nope. Still, uh... Jeez. Alright, Canopus. Go ahead and uh, take him out. Canopus is going to have a little bit of a difficult time with that uh, um, dragon unit, though, I think. There we go. Took her out before she could do a, uh, a jihad. And we do a jihad in return. Nice. Oh good, he misses his sonic strike. Of course he would have died from that sonic strike anyway, so... Doesn't matter that much. I should probably uh, cure Ankh, I think. Get healed up a little bit before they face that. Yep, there we go. Let's do it. Hello! Uh, this is actually going to be kind of a difficult uh, attack. Oh, wait, we can uh, turn the animation on. Yes, let's do that. There we go, 84 damage against one of them. That's pretty good. 84 from him, too. And Jihad. Nice. Fire Breath. Good. Supernova. Ah, <laughs> uh, not as impressive when it misses everyone. Although I don't think we're going to take out that last guy. He gets two Supernovas, though. That's, that's pretty powerful. I can see why you might want one of those dragons. They are pretty tough. They uh, definitely do not uh, um, take much damage. They certainly wouldn't take much damage if you ha if they were in your group. Uh, and they have the potential of dishing out a lot. I'm not sure if that would be an intelligence uh, one or not. Hey, we can see some more uh, some more supernovas. Because why not? healing on everyone for uh, just a couple hit points of <laughs> probably the levels. Ice field. Yeah, he's going to do ice field as well. One point of damage. Wow. Yeah, you guys are uh, not hitting very often, are you? Kind of sucks to be you. Bam! Club to the forehead. And we get our, what, last healing? Not sure if that's the last healing or not. Ah, uh, and you missed. But that's what Ice Field is for. That's what Dadid is for. He's still just a wizard, but he still kills things quickly. Pretty impressive, really.
Let's go ahead and turn animation back off. And we'll starlight first. Always gotta get a always have to get a good starlight in. Of course they're gonna get a spell off. Acid cloud. Oh no! So little damage. I'm so scared. And Starlight murders them all. I like how this uni Rose's unit is just kind of a... a thrown-together unit of just random stuff, and it's just obliterates everything. I mean, it is like... it is not maxed out in any way. Well, other than the fact that it has a leader that's a princess. Pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. Actually, we should probably... Let's see. Well, let me pull up the map. Maybe I can figure out where some of the hidden places are. Um, supposedly... There is, like, a temple or something down here, so that might be a good thing to look for with Canopus. Make a little extended Cassiopeia constellation there. There's a bunch of stuff right up there. Let's see, how many... Uh, supposedly five hidden cities. Oh yay! The undead still trying to go after the uh, uh, holy units. I still should make a princess unit sometime. Just all princesses, all the time. Liberated the industry city, Kossoft. And I need to use a uh, item shortly. I saw soldiers marching toward the south. Looked like the remaining Empire troops. Alright, let's go ahead and moonbeam. There we go. And you know what? Where was the shop again? All right, we're uh, we're not. That's all the way over there. That'll be all. Okay. All right, Kingston, you can uh, take on the angels. Uh, let's go for leader. Probably the best idea right now. Take out the angel real fast. That is some powerful uh, nightmare. Some powerful nightmares. Haha, <laughs> you missed with the sonic strike. So much fun. Roses has encountered the enemy. I bought all those uh, um, items, and I have yet to use them. <laughs> well, they will come in handy on the final uh, on the final boss. So, might save a few so that I can customize the uh, exactly what I face. Well, I mean, exactly what I use. I got the vitality potions to boost up hit points uh, on the unit that faces the uh, enemies because they have some high damage attacks. And I won't be taking in any uh, healing units. I do have Empress cards, but uh, that's about it. I should have used it at the end of last. I don't. I should have used the items at the end of last episode. I don't know why I didn't. I was planning on doing that, and I just completely slipped my mind. I guess partly because I'm just dominating here. I don't really need to use them. Find out. 
You know, you could run out of uh, units, uh, enemies, you know. That would be, you know, not... Not something I'd be opposed to. Bye-bye, <laughs> undead. It was nice knowing you. Well, no, it wasn't really. There we go. And I found a persuasion spell. Not something that I need, but it's not even worth uh, selling. I'm actually kind of wondering if they uh, have a limit on this map, because I would have expected them to have run out of uh, um, units by now. Liberated the trade city, Noves Kosh. I will not draw a card from the deck. There was a knight in black armor leading them. I wonder. What I wouldn't give for area of effect spells that affect multiple enemy units. Just, you know, wipe them all out. Wipe them out. All of them. Oh well, can't do much about it now, other than just whittle away at our foes here. I really do have a lot of enemy units, though. I wonder what the maximum level in this game is, because uh, I'm pretty sure some of us are getting close to that. 29... 29. 30! Hey, we got someone, some people at 30 already. <laughs> well, I suppose since I'm pretty sure I've taken out all of our foes, uh that are behind us. I could start teleporting people down now. Um, I suppose I could move lands back. Well, I could bring Ash into... Uh, hmm. Let me... Yeah. Ash or lands. One of the two of them into the uh, um, assault party if I need to take out one of the other fighters. I'm just trying to think of who I should put back at the... Uh, base. Um, I suppose we could put Kiki back. Well, no, let's actually put Norn back and uh, just have her sit here. Everyone else, let's go ahead and... Seven League Boots. Oops, shoot. Oh well. It's not like I was going to use them for anything else anyway. Alrighty. And we'll get lands down there. All right.
get them, well, actually, you know what, maybe we should move them not into the mountain, but into there. Okay, Ronnie can go over there as well. This way I can swap out uh, with a variety of different units depending on, uh, like I can put a princess in instead of Ushis. And Kiki can also come down. I might move uh, Roses out and put Aisha's unit there just so that they get some more levels. It's, actually, that's what I should do. Assuming that uh, we don't murder all of the enemies before they uh, get there, which is, an, which is a possibility. So I would like to get Tristan and Debonair some more levels before... Um, uh, taking him into the final boss. Probably be very, very wise. Right now, they're probably going to take a lot of damage. Yeah, so, let's see. Which is Aisha's? No, that's Ronnie. That is Aisha. Let's get her... there. Hopefully that's not close enough to the boss to actually trigger it. And hopefully they have enough enemies. But we'll see. Now, I mean, worst case scenario, they're underleveled. It's, it won't be a huge deal probably won't be doing much in the final b battle anyway. But it's not like this unit needs to do much more. <laughs> they're, uh, they're pretty, pretty powerful at this point. And another, uh, is it going to be Platinum Dragons or Fire Breaths? Let's see. Ah, Platinum Dragons. A little bit more difficult to uh, fight, just simply because uh, we do less damage, but uh, not too bad otherwise. Yeah, that 10 damage from uh, um, from the Paladin, that's kind of what does it. <laughs> Makes it difficult. Or more difficult, I should say, since it's really not that difficult. We, uh, we do take them out pretty easily. Especially with a nice fireball to the face. Really, is there anything better than uh, um, throwing fireballs at people's faces? I say no. I say no. So I'm definitely going to use um, some of these stat boosting items in between episodes. Uh, I will max out Aisha's unit, I will max out uh, our hero unit, and most of the rest probably don't need so much, but, uh... Holy crap, there is... there really are a ton. There's some, uh... 24th level wraiths there. We've got uh, another angel and uh, samurai unit. We've got the fire breath unit. Uh, another Raven Man unit. Uh, Muse and what? Titans? Titans, yeah. 
Jeez, guys, you need to hurry up and speed over here. Liberated the independent city Orangels. I will not draw a card from the deck. And you're saying the exact same thing. Thank you. I'm so glad you're saying the exact same thing. Damn, this is not that it's really not that it's going to cause him a problem, but well, actually, that is not a lot of damage. Well, those guys can do uh, dish out damage; they can't hurt us. But uh, let's see, what am I set to? I am set to leader. Okay, that's good. Our uh, skeletons here will focus on. That those guys. Okay, now. All right, now it doesn't matter. Actually, just don't miss. Thank you. Ah, excellent. Very nice. Found the city tange. Oh, okay. I'll go liberate that with uh, Canopus, actually. Um, I was going down... Well, let's, let me see exactly where he's going first. So we can follow that up. Okay, going to that island. Let's liberate it. There we go. We should find whatever is there. I'll liberate that city and then see what uh, um, comes up. And then, well, I'll liberate that city and then end the episode. Hello! Have a meteor! I know you guys do so enjoy having meteors dropped on you. I mean, it's a Japanese game. It's like a requirement in the PlayStation and later era. There must always be a spell that drops a meteor. Of course, this is also a Super Nintendo game at first, but yeah. Liberated the Trade City Tanj. I will not draw a card. Rashidi was unable to collect the stones of the Zodiac because of his actions. I thought it was because of me. Therefore, he deceived Mizal, the chief angel, and tried to get the Black Diamond. Black Diamond is the stone of the 13th disciple, the one who betrayed the gods. That stone has more power than any of the other stones. The stone was used as a contract of evil. I wonder if Rashidi is attempting to use the power of the Black Diamond to become the Lord of Evil. Alright, let's go ahead and pause it here. As we uh, face another outpouring of enemies... And in the next episode, I will have used uh, some items and uh, boosted some of the power of our units. Um, primarily Aisha's unit and the hero unit. Um, and then we will get back to uh, crushing these enemies.